Hi everyone, welcome back to our short videos on business studies um, and today we're going to talk about, we're going to continue where we left off for a while now on marketing. The topic is promotion and we're going to talk about business, uh, sorry, budgets and decisions. There are two parts uh, of this topic for today. The first is knowing what the promotional budget is and then we are going to look at the factors um, to consider when you want to make a promotion decision. Okay, so what is a promotional budget? It is the amount of money made available by a business for spending on promotion during a certain time period. So budgets are very common term used in businesses. Um, companies will need to allocate a certain amount of money of how much they're going to spend in different divisions of the company. For example, uh, the marketing team would need to have a certain amount of money that they can spend um, to promote their product, right? Or human resources would also need to have a certain amount of budget for human resources so that they can spend on advertising and hiring the right people, right? So all these requires funds or money. But it is important to be able to set aside a particular amount of money so that the company or the division could spend it accordingly. But in a business, not the same as how you would get a pocket money of maybe $100 a month from your parents for school and whatnot, uh, where you could spend um, maybe without thinking too much because you think you have it. But companies would need to plan ahead on how they're going to spend the money. So a budget is given for them to follow through, but there must be a plan. We're going to look at, first of all, the key factors that will help us make a promotional decision. There are a few. The first thing to look at is the type of product that the business is going to promote um, to use, whether it's going to use above the line methods, whether it's a new or existing product, whether it's a consumer product or a business product, whether uh, it falls in which stage of the product life cycle as well. Then we'll also need to look at who are we trying to reach? Who are we trying to promote this product to or the target market? And if let's say this product is maybe a walking aid right then the target market will be to the elderly people who would basically need it right so this is uh, where we factor in who is going to be attracted to the promotion we also have to look at how much is it going to be how much do you need to spend to promote if you're going to use above the line or below the line the cost will vary significantly. So if you're going to reach out to elderly people who need walking aids, should you use it on television ads or maybe advertise on a banner or you know or a billboard for that matter. Right? So that 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 will significantly um, you know increase your cost of promotion or just flyers through magazine ads where people are reading or the elderly may newspaper ads for that matter, right? That would mean the cost would be significantly lower. But all of this depends on how much money you have to spend. So how much money has been allocated for your promotional budget, right? And there's another factor to look at. What are your competitors are doing? You know, do you want to copy something like them when you advertise or, um, you know, go in a different manner, right? So now that you know the factors uh, to consider when making a promotional decision. We also need to study to, um, the important parts where how do you know if your promotion is effective? So before you promote your product, you need to know the objective of your promotion. Are you trying to look at awareness where you're trying to get people to know about your product or you're trying to look at conversion of sales that means you're saying by spending so and so amount of money to advertise this on a billboard, I'm expecting 20% jump in sales revenue. Okay, so those are the types of objectives that a business should set beforehand. And of course, deciding what method of promotion above the line, below the line, you know this already. And then decide on how much to set aside for this promotion. Once all the above three steps are done, step four is to determine the effectiveness of the promotion, which means once the promotional campaign is running and, and you know, com coming to an end or while it is running, you've got to 
gather customer feedback, monitor your sales pattern, depending on your objective, what they are, um, to see whether or not there's an increase in sales, if that was your objective. Gathering feedback from customers to ask them if they're satisfied with your brand or satisfied with what the uh, this product is all about, right? Monitor your website traffic if you are looking at awareness as an objective, right? So there are many things that you can do to ensure that what you spend on promotion is effective, which means that you're getting your money's return, all right? Or in business, we say return on investments, okay? Now... Wow, that's it. So we've come to the end of our lesson. And as always, um, this is the website that you can reach out, learning-madeeasy.com. You can drop a message over there if you have any questions or concerns. Until we talk again in the next video. Have a nice day.